Uh, Assalamualaikum Okay, this is a long overdue video Okay, previously uh, I have uh, stopped at the introduction of the consolidated uh, statement uh, Now we will be going into a new chapter that is the preparation of the consolidated statement of financial position or CBS Okay So I'm still using uh, Jane's Lazar textbook so I'm using the 7th edition I was uh, made to believe that there is a new uh, edition so but I'm using on the 7th edition I hope that it's not much of uh, uh, changes so if there are then you would have to uh, make some uh, searching okay So first, we will have to understand what is the consideration transferred. Okay, consideration transferred will be the initial cost of the investment, which will be recognized in the financial position, financial statements of the acquirer. Okay, so meaning holding company will pay a certain amount to the subsidiary. Okay, the amount will be called as consideration transferred. Okay, the consideration transferred will be measured at the fair values, okay, at the fair values, okay, of the asset transferred, of the liabilities incurred, equity instrument issued by the acquirer and contingent consideration, if there is a such contingent liability at the moment, okay. So, to understand better, let's look at the example. Okay, this example. Okay, H requires 1 million ordinary shares of S. So, H wants to acquire 1 million ordinary shares in S. So, in return, H will issue to S 800,000 ordinary shares of par value 1 ringgit each in H. And on top of that, H will be paying to S cash of 400,000 okay par value okay but the market price of each shares was 3 ringgit okay let's see the journal okay so the investment of 2,800,000 consists of okay bank okay H pays to S 400,000 in cash and ordinary shares Okay, this is the par value. Okay, the ordinary shares, the par value is 1 ringgit. So, 800,000 times 1 ringgit is another 800,000. 800, okay, the share premium is the difference. The market price is 3 ringgit. But, uh, when H uh, issues the share to S, okay, the price is already 3 ringgit. And so that means S will acquire a share premium. A share premium means the difference between the market value minus the par value. So 3 minus 1. So that is a 2 ringgit uh, premium. So 2 ringgit premium, 2 times 800,000 shares. So you get 1.6 million RM. So this will be recorded as share premium. Okay. Okay, pre-acquisition reserve. Okay, another important requirement in acquisition accounting is to distinguish between reserve existing in the subsidiary on the date the share were acquired. So, if on the date the share were acquired, all reserve will be known as pre-acquisition reserve. And it will increase or decrease during the financial year and anything excess or reduces uh, to the reserve will be affected as post acquisition reserves okay it is important to know and to identify the pre acquisition reserve because a pre acquisition reserve cannot be distributed as dividend okay 
distribution of any part of the pre-acquisition reserve will amount to a return of capital of for the holding company so it is not considered as revenue but is is considered as part of capital reserve okay okay i will be going to the example 2 okay given below are the statements of two companies h and s h being the holding company as being the subsidiary okay on 1st january 2003 okay here okay h acquired 100 percent of the issued ordinary shares of s by issuing 200 million ordinary ordinary shares in h and cash of 50 million to the shareholders of s the market value of one equity of H on 1st January 2003 was 1 ringgit 50 cents. Okay. So what does this mean? Okay. So 1st January. So the date of takeover will be 1st January 2003. H will take over the whole ordinary shares of S. So, in order for H to take over 200,000, uh, sorry, 200 million uh, RM shares in S, in return, okay, H will be giving to S 200 million ordinary shares in H plus cash of 50 million. And to bear in mind, the market value is already 150. So, that means there will be a premium so a premium of 50 cents the difference between the par value and the market value okay so how do we calculate so what will be the investment the con consideration transferred okay okay the fair value of the consideration transferred will be cash 50 million and shares 200 million at one dollar fifty sorry one ringgit fifty cents okay. uh, which later on you will segregate main ordinary shares uh, one ringgit that means two hundred thousand and share premium which is fifty cents uh, that will be at uh, one hundred thousand okay, but it will still come to 350 million okay so now the statement of financial position of H and S immediately after H has acquired the shares are as follows okay H won't have any changes okay sorry S will not have any changes it will still be the same so previously it was 270,000 so after acquisition it is still 370,000 no difference but in H okay H will have a difference okay because H will be paying 200,000 shares so if it's previously 500,000, now it becomes 700,000. And that is a share premium. Okay, remember earlier, I told you there is a premium. So, the premium is 100,000. So, other than that, it's the same. The retain profit is the same. The liabilities is the same. Okay, so this is on the credit side. So, on the debit side, so there will be an extra item so the item is investment in s at 350000 so this will balance off both sides okay okay now let's see uh, the preparation of the console account which will be prepared by h okay so let's see the ordinary shares you only take what is h so h we only take 700,000 okay in S the ordinary shares the share premium 
Okay, there's no share premium. The retained profit. So, we assume that the retained profit is, uh, is the amount existed during the date of acquisition. So, this becomes a pre-acquisition. So, this amount will be eliminated against the investment. Okay, this will be used in order to calculate goodwill later on. So, we will see in the uh, example later. Okay. So, share premium taken from H, the retained profit is from H, and the liability, okay, you add both, 20 plus 20, you got 40, okay, so it comes to a 940 uh, million. So, on the current, non-current asset, okay, non-current asset, you will add up both, so you get 450, then the investment, this will be knockoff, okay. So, there will no, uh, no longer be any investment item. So, the current asset, okay, you will plus, you will get 150 plus 100, you get 250. And the bank, you plus both amount, then you get 240. So, it comes to 940. So, it balanced off. Okay. Okay, the consideration transferred was 400,000 cash. Uh, the, though the fair value of the shares of S was $1.50, which will be, okay, the fair value will be 300000 Why 300000 200000 unit, because of the par value, one ringgit, times 150, that will come to 300000 So, the acquirer has paid more to acquire control over the acquiry. So, here you know that there will already be a goodwill. So, H will record the acquisition in its own financial statement. So, in H accounts, you will create the investment item and you will uh, credit from the bank. Okay. Okay, now, we will see the revised financial position statement. Okay, now, H will have an investment item and the amount in the bank will be reduced by 400,000 so you can check previously previously bank was the current asset is 640 so now so 640 minus 400,000 so there is only 240 so it balance on both sides okay so in S, no changes. Okay. So now you have to calculate the goodwill. So how do you calculate it? So the consideration transferred is only by way of cash, four hundred thousand. Okay, because uh, this is a wholly owned subsidiary. Wholly owned subsidiary mean being H take over. All of the shares in S. So there is no NCI, no non controlling interest. Okay, so there is no NCI here. So this is a wholly owned subsidiary. So the way you calculate the goodwill is as such. So cash 400,000. So you have to minus with the net assets. Okay, the net asset being the share capital of S. And the share premium, so we will have to assume that this is our share premium existed during takeover. Okay, 40,000. And the retained profit as at the day of takeover, 60,000. So the total comes to 300,000. So the consideration transferred minus the net asset. So that will give you a goodwill of 100,000. Okay. So, this goodwill will be recorded in the books of H, the console account. Okay, uh, sorry, not in the H account itself, but in the consolidated account. Okay, now let's see the console account. So, when you do the console account, bear in mind this is a wholly owned subsidiary. So, the ordinary shares, you only take over H. 
amount as you don't take it you don't calculate the ordinary shares you don't calculate the share premium you don't calculate the retain profit why because this amount has already been calculated during your calculation of goodwill okay that's why you see this amount add up with goodwill it comes up to 400,000 and it will be eliminated against the investment account so you knock off one another so it becomes zero okay so share premium you only take h 200,000 you only take retain profit of h 200,000 the liability okay both four plus three so you got seven seventy thousand okay non-current asset you add up both investment knock off so you don't have any here okay then the current asset the current asset we add both and the goodwill so this is a new item so goodwill will be recorded in the console account if you do not add the goodwill it won't balance so you have to add the goodwill so goodwill only arises after acquisition so both this side will both side will balanced Okay, let's look at example 4. Okay, example 4 is uh, to show the treatment of bargain purchase. Okay, so in this case, okay, H acquire all the ordinary shares of S. So all the shares. So this is also a wholly owned subsidiary. So when they acquire, the consideration transferred is 200 and 50,000 by way of issuing 125,000 ordinary shares of H. Okay, the fair value of the ordinary shares is 2 ringgit. Okay, so the investment, the consideration transfer will create an investment item of 250,000. Okay, being uh, ordinary shares given to S. For 125,000 and a share premium of 125,000. Why a share premium? Because the fair value is 2 ringgit at the date of purchase for a par value share of 1 ringgit. Okay, so this will be the revised statement after the acquisition. So there will be investment item in H. Okay. And the ordinary shares would have increased by 125,000. That is 400,000 plus 125. Okay, and then the share premium, which does not exist earlier. Now there is a share premium of 125. S remains the same. Okay, so how do you calculate the goodwill or the bargain purchase? Okay, so in this case, the consideration transferred is 125,000 ordinary shares at fair value of 2 ringgit. That gives you 250,000, which is also the investment. Consideration transferred, 250,000. Okay, the net asset at the date of acquisition, okay, the share capital is 200,000. So the retained profit at the date of acquisition, 100,000. So that is 300,000. So the net asset is 300,000 but the consideration transferred is 250. So that gives you a bargain purchase of 50,000. So it's in a credit. Okay. So how will you record that in your uh, console account? So in your console account because they don't give it here. So I will just show you. So in the console account, instead of you having a goodwill here, you will have it here. Under retained profit, you will put here as bargain purchase or it becomes a reserve. Okay, so it will sit here. Instead of being a goodwill, it will be a bargain purchase, which is some sort of a reserve.